All right, so up to this point, we've installed Ubuntu server and we've changed the host name to test server. And the next step is pretty important. Um, by default, our server was given an IP address from the DHCP um, gateway, uh, which is my Netgear router. All right, so what we want to do is set it as a static IP address so that it doesn't change. Um, and we're also going to set a couple of other, other things. So in Linux, if you want to see your IP information, you can use the command if, if oh, let me just click in here, ifconfig. And if you're f familiar with Windows, it's ipconfig. Uh, pretty much does the same kind of thing. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, you can see that our IP address, our internal IP address is 10.0.0.13. All right, my network, um, I'm on my home network, which is a 10.00 network. All right, so my router or my gateway is 10.0.0.1. All right, and then I have about um, 15 physical and virtual machines on my network. All right, so I'm going to actually use this IP address. I'm just going to make sure that I set it as a static IP address. Okay, so what we want to do is edit a file. So we're going to say sudo nano etc slash network slash interfaces. All right, so there's a few things that we want to do here. Uh, if we go down here, we want to leave these lines. We just want to change this one here, this um, inet dhcp. All right, like I said, by default, uh, we're using the DHCP server, and we don't want to do that. We want to set this as static. All right, and then there's a few lines we want to add uh, under here. Okay, so the first one will be the actual IP address, okay, which I'm going to keep as the one that the DHCP server assigned, which is 10 0, 0, 1, 3. Okay, I'm going to add a few other things here too. I'm going to add in my net mask, which is going to be 255, 255, 255 .0. Okay, next I want to define the network. Now, if you have a local network, it, you could very well be using the 16, the uh, 198. Dot one six two dot zero or whatever. Um, my network is on the ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. All right. Um, broadcast. I don't think that this is um, required, but I like to put it anyways, which is going to be ten zero zero two five five. All right. Now the gateway. You do have to have that, which is going to be in my case my my Netgear router which is on 10.0.0.1. And then finally, we're going to put in our DNS name servers. And I usually just use the public Google's public name servers, which is 8.8.8.8. And then I'm going to put a space and put 8.8.4.4. Okay, so those are Google's public name servers. So that's pretty much all we need to do here. So I'm going to do a control X and make sure I click Y to save and that's it. All right. Now that we have a static IP address, I want to remove the DHCP client um, because I don't want I don't want to have any more IP addresses handed to this server. So I'm going to say sudo apt-get remove DHCP3 dash client. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, we can now restart the network. All right, so that's how you can uh, make your IP address static and also add your DNS name servers for your server.